Hey guys, welcome back to Savoy's channel. Today we are gonna do something different. Not gamba reviews, not unboxing video, but unprofessional tutorials. So today I'm gonna show you how I pose with my gambas normally. Today I'm gonna use the Mud Rock Gundam as the example because A is the XG is very easy for me to pose, and B because it's one of my favorite designs, so that's why I want to use it. By the way, if you know nothing about this gambla and you're interested about this design right here. The review of this Mud Rock Gundam is in the description. You can just click the link and check out the review. Okay, let's start the video now. Now, let me put this straight right here. I'm not a professional posing gamble person, or I'm not a professional photographer or anything like that. I'm just an amateur person that trying to, you know, show you a little bit easier way or like a sort of like a basic concept on how you pose with your gamble. So. If you think my methods or my techniques or my way of doing things is not professional enough, it's okay. You can comment down below and tell me like how to be more professional. I'm just telling you like how I do my、uh, posing normally. About posing with your gambler, a lot of different ways that you can do it. For example, imagine it in your head. But this part right here is very difficult. It sounds very easy, but it's difficult because you have to understand the gambler very well. Pros and cons about the gambler: movement range, articulation. Can this part be extended? How stable if you do this pose? For example, if I hold a beam rifle, will it like will the hands like leaning down and looking very bad? For example, if I'm holding the shield, I move it back. Will it bump into the backpack or something else? For example, if I move the legs, will it bump into the skirt armor and looks very ridiculous? You have to know all these kind of interruption and pros and cons before you imagine it in your head. That's the best way. Second option. Go to Google Images, search up the promotional pictures, and then take a look how the promotional pictures posing the gamble. But I don't really recommend you to directly copy it on your gamble because it kind of lost the fun of posing your gamble. Posing your gamble should be something original and do it by yourself. So don't directly copy the promotional pictures. Inspired, getting ideas from that promotional pictures and turn it to your own idea. Third option: turn on your OVA, turn on your anime. Understand how that M is, how that Gundam is posing, how they are moving, what they are doing. For example, I'm posing with my Wing Gundam. How did it hold the Buster rifle and shooting at someone? If I'm posing with the Freedom, how did the full burst mode move? How did the legs spread? What about the arms? How how far do you need to lift up that rifle? All these kind of things you can look at it in the anime. And the fourth option, which sounds very stupid, by the way. And is one of my common methods is to stand up, walk around in your room, and then imagine those poses in your head and actually doing it, and then you copy that body movement on your gamble and then see if that works. This part right here, I think, is the best. And sometimes, if I run out of ideas, I will actually stand up and walk around in the room and trying to do some like stupid weird poses to see if that works on the gamble. In my opinion, this method right here actually works pretty well as well because you can just walk around and then do some stupid things and then imagine it on your gamble. It's pretty fun actually, and it's actually help you to understand how did normal people act if we are doing a certain action. These are the four ways of how you posing with your gamble, or like sort of like a little guidance about how you pose with your gamble. Now I gotta tell you that during my early days when I'm playing with gamble, I actually don't know how to make poses at all. For standing pose, oh my god! Don't even mention about it. It's like very terrible. Let me show you how I pose during the early days. Introducing Gundam Pixie. This is how I normally make my gamble stand during my early years. Look at this. Very unnatural, right? Take a look at this. Very unnatural. Tighten up. Looks like very nervous. Do you get what I mean? When we take a look at the mud rock right here, take a look at the mud rock. You see, normal standing pose. This is how normal people stand, right? When we are walking on the street or when we're doing something else in our house, when we stand, will you do something like the pixie did, which is all tighten up? No, of course you relax a little bit. Take a look at this. Legs spread out a little bit. The arms move out a little bit because there's no way you're gonna close it like this, right? You're gonna move out a little bit like this. And then for the arms, we're not gonna stretch. We're not gonna stretch it. We're gonna do a little bit of bending, right? A little bit more natural, just like this. And for the head, you know, for the head part, honestly, you can choose to look down or look up. But I prefer look down because look down looks a little bit better than looking up. Looking up felt a little bit weird. Let me show you what I mean. 
Do you feel like a little bit weird? I do. Walking. What do we do when we actually walk in our room? Our upper body will move a little bit. The legs will bend, of course, and move out. So this is what you want to do if you're doing a walking pose. You see it right here, the legs spread it. You can see the bending on the knees, yes. And then you can see the upper body has been turned a little bit. If you're looking at the front like this, you should have something like this. Take a look at this. The upper body is facing another way. For the arms part to myself, if I'm walking to this way right here, so for example, I'm walking to this way right here, um, my right arm right here, I will actually make it facing out to make it a little bit more natural. That's just my thing. I kind of think that this way, make the gamper look a little bit more confident, look a little bit more comfortable. So for the walking part, it's not that difficult. All you need to do is to focus on the legs and how the upper body turn. And for the arms, just be a little bit casual. Now, flying pose. Why am I not mentioning running pose? Because I felt like running pose on Gundam or MS or Gunpla is very weird to myself because when you take a look at the MS, when you take a look at the Gundam, I don't think they can run, they can either walk or fly or jump. That's the three things that you can do. If running on Gunpla seems how should I put it? The running on Gunpla seems a little bit weird to myself, which is why I want to skip that part. Anyway, now up to the flying part. You can see that flying should look something like this. So when you're flying, take a look at the legs right here. Take a look at the legs. The legs right here, you can see that it's bent a little bit to make it look like it's flying in the space. Do you get what I mean? Just bend it a little bit. And also the feet part is the most important part. If you want your Gunpla to look like it's flying, you must have your feet facing down to make it look like it's actually flying. This part right here, if you make the feet facing down and then make the legs bend it a little bit, it will look a little bit more natural. For the arms though, I suggest you, you can just bend it a little bit and then maybe make the rifle kind of like a halfway right here. You see, it's not facing up, it's not facing down, kind of like a halfway right here. For the shield, you can do the same thing, just like the rifle and that will be it. Now for the head part, it's very important. If you're flying, because you know, using the logic right here. If you're flying right now, you must see the front, right? So the camera, which is the head part, should be facing up like this. Otherwise, how can the pilot look at the road? How can the pilot look at the situation? How can the pilot look at the battlefield? Coming up next, I would like to call this pose as extreme shooting mode. Like right here, it's like a pretty basic shooting mode. You know, everything spread out, look like you're shooting at someone. This is the shooting pose. Now for the shooting pose, it's not as hard as you imagine. Actually, all you need to do is to make sure your arms lift up a little bit and then moving out like this because imagining you're like shooting someone coming at your right, shooting it. And then for the shield right here, just move it up the arms a little bit and I think that looks fine as well. Now for the legs and the feet part, this part right here is quite important. You want it to spread out if you want to look the best. Feet bending down, knees, now, if you like at least one leg, at least one leg actually bending a little bit back, like this one right here. And then the other one, you can bend a little bit like this. Also, the chest part is very important as well. Make sure just like the walking pose, you actually turn a little bit like this. It will look a bit better if you turn around a little bit like this. Again, the only rule about posing is to try to make it look a little bit more natural if you're doing something like shooting, walking, or anything like that. Beam Saber pose. A lot of you have different opinions about Beam Saber, how you should pose it. Well, I'll just go for the easiest one right here because this one right here, I think, you know, looks the best, looks the most convenient, and also very easy to pose. So you don't have to worry too much about how you're supposed to position your legs or anything like that. Well, this pose right here, it's very simple. All you need to do is always remember, let your arms facing out to increase that feeling that you're slashing from above and you're about to end the enemy. Always increase that feeling. And then the other hand, you can just pose whatever position that you want. What I do is I lift up the other arm so it can look like more, a little bit natural. Always remember to turn your chest. You cannot let your chest face in the front because if you let the chest face the front, it actually looks kind of stupid in my opinion. Always do a little bit of turning. So this one right here looks a little bit better if you turn the chest. 
if you don't turn the chest it looks very weird in my opinion and for the legs though the legs you can just slightly bend it but always remember you're coming from above so always make sure feet down feet must be facing down so it looks natural all we are talking about is natural the head facing the way that you're slashing towards for example i'm slashing down now so my head should be facing down like this another small detail about the beam saber pose is try to make your shoulder move to the front a little bit so again we are talking about being natural when you do beam saber pose i think one of the most important element is you need to curve the beam saber because no matter which anime, no matter which manga, you will always see that the Gundam Beam Saber always have like a little bit of curve when it's slashing down or slashing to whatever position that you want to go. So always remember, you have a pair of Gundam Beam Saber effects in the model kit. Curve one of them with just like hot water, pour it in and then you bend it. And it will look way better to pose the Beam Saber because it will look like something in the anime, something in the manga, whatever kind of source that you saw this Gundam. Defending pose. Defending pose, I want to show you two versions. One of them will be a very simple defending pose like this, and one of them will be shooting as you're defending. Defending, in my opinion, is one of the most difficult pose to do because if you don't do it like correctly, sometimes it looks very weird and sometimes it looks very awkward and stupid as well. So for defending pose, for my own version, I would do something like this. So remember, weapon always facing down no matter it's rifle or cannon or beam saber that you're holding you're simply defending now so you don't need the offensive weapons just let it staying like this facing down very simple for the legs though you can choose to spread out a little bit standing a little bit or you can choose like a wide spreading that i do again i'm trying to make the gunpla look like it's taking a charge for the shield part for the shield part when you take a look inside, you can see shoulders, arms up, shield facing front, and you can see the shield covering area. If you're looking at the front right here, it's covering uh, half of the head and also the cockpit because when you're defending, you don't want your cockpit or your senses get destroyed. So ideally, you should be having your shield covering like the cockpit and possibly like half of the head. This will be considered as a good pose for myself. Shooting as you're defending. Shooting as you're defending, in my opinion, is not as difficult as defending because defending, uh, I think it takes a lot of work to actually position the legs, position the arms. So in my opinion, shooting as you're defending is easier. Shooting as you're defending, I chose to be the one that you're floating in the air instead of standing on the ground. So when you take a look inside right here, you will see that shooting as you're defending. So first, we talk about the shooting pose, but this time, shooting as you're defending, you don't have to do like a very exaggerated spread out shooting pose because um, you're trying to sh shoot as you're defending. So when you're shooting, you can just keep it tight like this. And then the legs, I'm trying to make it look like it's in space right now. So spread out a little bit, bend a little bit, feet down, or you can one feet down, one feet up. I think this one right here looks a little bit more natural. And then for the shield part right here, we talk about this during the defending part. Um, defending the cockpit will be fine because you are trying to shoot as you're defending. You need to see the front. So don't block the head block the cockpit now if we take this out from the action base you will see that you can see shooting and then the head is facing the other way torso a little bit turning and then mainly the shield protecting the cockpit the legs down here you can position it whenever you like you can just position it like you're in space or you're on ground but i just like to position like uh, i'm in space right now i'm shooting at someone and i want to defend myself at the same time so i chose this pose right here but anyway, this pose right here, in my opinion, is way easier than just simply defending. Thank you guys for watching this unprofessional tutorial about how to pose your gambler. Again, I'm not the best guy out here to teach you how to pose gambler, but it's a little bit of quick tips about how to do a certain thing. I hope it helps. If you want to see more posing, you can comment down below and maybe I will make another video to teach another set of posing as well if you like this video if you found this video helpful make sure you leave a like subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to subscribe button so you get notified whenever i upload a new video donation links is in the description and i'll see you in the next video goodbye